back to another issue on the Video Media channel. Not a video, well it is a video, but I call it issues now because I'm here to talk about certain comics. Um, now, on the last video I said I was going to do a current one, an older one. That kind of is going to happen, but not in this one, because in this issue I'm here to talk about these ones. Doctor Who, in case you can't read. And it's quite fitting that the TARDIS is bottom there. So yes, we have a story based on the 10th Doctor, Gate Tennant, and the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith. Um, and uh, there's kind of a reason why I want to talk about these, but um, obviously I'll start with the 10th one. Um, it's kind of just very, you know, like whenever you're reading it, you kind of read David Tennant's, well, the 10th Doctor as David Tennant's voice, you know, certain pauses in between and things like that. Um, so there's a couple of people working at a laundromat, um, you know, doing their laundry, and the um, washing machines all start spinning around and there's water all coming out of them and things. And he's sitting in a restaurant where the person who was at the laundromat works and um, she's basically getting chastised by her parents that she should do more with her life and all this caper. And uh, it kind of goes on a little bit more and uh, you see her, she's like taking the train to go to like a night class where she's obviously trying to, you know, like earn some degree or whatever. And um, she writes something like, you know, uh, something to do with death or whatever. And on the train home, it says, like, your next stop will be the end of your life. And there's almost like this big, almost like a, um, a t um, one of the Resident Evil monsters, you know, like the green scaly ones. Almost looks like a big genetic fro uh, scary frog. Um, it kind of looks a bit better than I'm describing it. Um, but yeah, and then um, she says, mystery better on, and you just see the paper, and he, he, the hand comes out and says, take my hand, and the end panel is the monster, and then the doctor with Gabby, I think it's called, and um, says, um, hold on tight, and he has the sonic screwdriver out. Um, I like the fact as well that whenever you, before you start reading it, it actually says that this takes place after... Donna Noble has, you know, saved the world, you know, and um, had her mind wiped and um, that kind of thing. So um, it's good to see where it actually fits in with everything. So obviously this must fit in between that and Planet of the Dead and that kind of stuff there. Um, out of the two of them, I actually prefer Tennant's one. Matt Smith's one is a bit crazy on it and you'll understand why in a minute. In fact, a better uh, flick through and show you. Uh, yeah, with Smith's one, again, they've... Um, Obviously, there's different people working on these ones, um, but as you can see from the art, you know, like on the front, it's very much the same. Um, yeah, so in this one here, the art is very much different, and to be honest with you, I care for the, more of the David Tennant art than I do this one. Um, this is obviously set in London, and there's a lot of negativity around London and thing, and there's a... Uh, a girl who actually gets in the TARDIS and says, you know, like, it's it's, and go like, yes, they all say it. It's bigger on the inside. Well, like, no, we're upside down, um, which is kind of weird. Um, but it's to do with, um, she's kind of just, um, she's lost her job. She's been evicted from her flat and things like that. And she's just been very, um, very down in life. And the doctor meets her and you know, says like, oh, well, let's have a chat and sits down and listens to our old problems and then basically this comes running along. Yes, this. Um, so, um, yeah, this is one called Afterlife. I don't know, I don't know if this is a continuing story or not because it doesn't say Afterlife number one of whatever, but I would imagine that would be. Um, but, yeah, it's a case of that dog kind of feeds on negativity and she goes near him and, and for some reason that towards the end of it the, do the doctor gets like a big squid out of the TARDIS and the squid hugs the, the dog and basically that's the end of it and then she goes with the doctor then so whether she's going to be the companion for the next issues or not I don't know and obviously if I never showed you that it's done by Titan comics um, whereas before it was actually done by IDW um, with the likes of Star Trek, um, Doctor Who Assimilation Squared um, which they did in that. Uh, the reason why I wanted to talk about that was at the time of recording this it's uh, Monday the something of Monday the 18th of August and on Saturday 23rd of August is 
the Doctor Who premiere for Deep Breath. Um, now I'm lucky enough to go be heading over to London to catch up with the awesome um, Ben Reid and Robbie Rebel. I'm um, going with um, Mr Big Red 1990 who's been doing a lot of movie reviews on his channel so if you're looking into that head over to his channel. Um, yeah, so uh, we've actually managed to get tickets for the Leicester Square premiere, which is going to have a QA and a with um, Peter Capaldi, Jenna Coleman and uh, Stephen Moffat. Uh, whether I get to ask a question or not would be, you know, there's obviously going to be more than a couple of people there, but we'll wait and see. Because um, there have been a couple of Q&A events and I haven't actually got to ask questions and put my hand up, but that's been kind of ignored, so we'll just wait and see how that goes. Um, so that's kind of one of what I cover the Doctor Who ones with that. There will be a um, Peter Capaldi one coming up. I think it's in September time, perhaps. Um, I don't think it's solicited for this month. I think it's next month. And that's where issue one will start. Issue two of that will actually be out, I think it's this Wednesday. So that'll be, what's it, 18th, 19th? I think it's the 20th then. Um, so just in case you're looking to order it or anything like that. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of a uh, quick um, on this here, so um, just wanted to try and get this out before Doctor Who Deep Breath starts. Are you looking forward to seeing it? What are your thoughts on, spoiler alert, in case, in case uh, you don't know that uh, Jenna Coleman has said that she will actually be leaving the series, so whether Christmas time will be um, her swan song, and obviously we will always have a Christmas special, so whether... Instead of the likes of David Tennant went out at Christmas, Matt Smith went out at Christmas, it seems to be the norm, whether she goes out at Christmas. So um, what are your thoughts on that and who would you actually like to get to see replacing her? Would you still prefer, bless you mother, would you still prefer um, somebody like her or would you prefer somebody like an older statue to go, stature to go with um, Capaldi? It'd just be interesting to see the dynamic between the two and where we go from here. Oh yes, um, I forgot to say as well, the, doc the 11th Doctor one is set after he drops Amy Rory off for their honeymoon, so that's obviously whenever he's by himself as well. So yeah, just as I say, quick review, I just wanted to give my thoughts out on that. Uh, also, I've mentioned before, Positively Nerdy, um, I appeared on one of the episodes to do with the previews catalogue, um, so I'll post the link down below, and um, just if you enjoy what you hear, make sure to send Ryan a email at ryan at positively nerdy dot com and uh, thanks for thanks for watching and uh, until the next issue